looks like an Indian or it looks like a victory or it looks like this, it looks like that. Seem to be different from what we've seen in previous CBO years on the baggers. And then there's a picture on the wall. There might be a third bike. There might be a third bike in there from what it looks like. Can't really confirm all that yet. We're looking at all the designs on the page. You can see the breakdown. Well, we woke up to a nice little surprise today. Harley Davidson blessing us with a, a little gem this morning announcing the brand new, all new, 2023 redesigned Road Glide and Street Glide CBO. Yo, what up, welcome back to another video, guys. If you guys are as surprised as I am, eager, happy, I I don't know what other words to use, surprised. Um, that's, that's my feeling right now, all bundled up into one little ball right now. I'm like, little kid on Christmas morning, unpackaging, and looking at all these brand new toys, I'm um, honestly gotta say I'm 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 really surprised. I in a good way, in a very very good way. So really quick, if you haven't watched the video yet, um, either watch this video now or watch the video before this, and then we'll talk about it together. What I want to do in this video today is watch the clip with you. It's like 59 seconds or so what Harley Davidson released on their page. And it's a little launch video of them introducing the Road Glide and the Street Glide. And there's a lot of little gems in there everywhere. So I must have watched this video maybe like 100 times this morning, going back to it, going back to it, going back to it, zooming in. So what we're gonna do in today's video is that we're gonna watch the clip together right now. I'm gonna narrate as the video is going on, letting you know exactly what I'm seeing, letting you know what stands out to me the most as the video goes on. Um, and then we're gonna break it down. We're gonna break down the road glide and we're gonna break down the street glide little by little. We're gonna talk about what we see, what has changed, um, and what we like, maybe what we don't like about the, the brand new models right now. And, um, and then some Easter eggs. There's just a lot of Easter eggs and there's a lot of dark little clips here and there where I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So even after watching the video like a hundred times, I noticed something, I'm like, wait a minute. There might be a third bike. There might be a third bike in there, but let's just watch the video first. We'll break everything down. So the opening clip is Brad Richardson pulling out on a bike. Um, there's a garage closing in the background. He zooms into the light. Um, that bike, that at first I, I thought that bike, I'm like, well, okay, here he is coming off on uh, Low Rider ST, but when you kind of look and keep moving around, I don't know, it, it just doesn't look like a Low Rider ST. It looks like a, I don't know, I just, for some reason that, that fairing looks a little bubbled up more. It looks like a different bike. Um, and even in the back as he goes on, it looks like it has a, like a bobbed out fender as well. So could that be a third bike? I, I don't know. Uh, it it I, I I might be crazy. I might be crazy, or th this this could just be an old Dyna, but it doesn't sound like a Dyna. That might be a new bike as well. Um, so the video continues. He uh, taking his uh, access card, clipping it in. He opens his door, turns on the lights. Um, we get a nice close up shot of Brad Richardson, um, and then the big wall. The big wall expands out. And we're looking at all the designs on the page. You can see the breakdowns of everything. We have uh, tons of pictures of the fairing of the road glide and the street glides. A lot of close-up shots of uh, the infotainment system, uh, the tank. We see lights. We see a little bit of everything. And then if you look down, if you stop the video, there, there, the actual road glide light is laying down on the floor all the way down to the right. And then on the left, you have um, a pair of bars, chromed out bars right there. Um, the video keeps expanding out and then we just keep getting little shots here and there on the wall of everything This is why I had to watch the video a hundred times because I kept going back watching it over Zooming in zooming out seeing what I could see in there um, And he's just looking back and forth. He, he looks surprised. He, he looks like whoa You know th th there's just a, a look in his eyes. I like whoa like we accomplished something here we see the America flag in the back. We see a nice little twisty road. Um, and it's just, uh, uh, there's just like a, uh, a look of reassurance in his face. Like, yeah, you know what? We got this. 
we got this. Then it just zooms into his um into his face, puts out his uh his lid. Then you see a nice little close-up shot of the street glide and the road glide riding by together. And then a um, nice little close-up shot of the back of the street glide or the road glide, whatever it could be. Um, and then it just shows them taking down photos off the wall. Then we got some nice little close-up shots of some metals being drilled, going to the fire. We see a tank there. It looks like a tank. Um, just more clips. Then we, then we come to that shot where it's the street glide and the road glide coming at you looking real menacing um, and it's I, I like the daytime running lights on here it looks really good a few more clips of him just taking pictures down crumbling pictures up stuff he doesn't like um, some close-up shots now we got some firewood we got both bikes in the dark um, then a nice little close-up shot of him from behind and then we have two pictures on the wall. We got the road glide and then we got the street glide. That light is still down on the bottom. The chrome bars are still on the bottom. We got the American flag leaning up against the wall right there. And then we see the nice little close-up shots of both bikes, the front end of those bikes looking real, real nice. Brand new, redesigned. The all new CVO street glide and CVO road glide. Our future is real. That's what it's reading out. Um, and then join us for 6723. So obviously 6723 is when they're going to do that actual unveiling of these bikes. They're going to talk about all the brand new details. Um, but for now, we're, we're going to get this little, this little teaser of, uh, of a video that this is what this is. Um, they ain't going to have the, the both bikes um, really dark, riding down the road. All the headlamps are on. Everything looks nice and bright as they're riding by. And then the bar and badge comes on 120. So a lot in that little 59 second video. There's so much to digest. And going back to what I said before, I must have watched this video a hundred times because I kept replaying it, replaying it, replay it. And every time I replayed it, I kept seeing little things. Little things just kept standing out to me. Yeah, let's sip my coffee. It's early today, so no, no, no beers right now. Just some, some coffee. So as I kept playing those videos back, I kept taking screenshots of everything because I didn't want to forget anything and I want to just pinpoint certain things. So first one I have here is just a screenshot of the, um, the infotainment system. So we, we do have pictures. Um, there's a picture of the old interfering and then obviously the new ones right next to it. Um, so like we see here, there's a large, large screen that we have. No more gauges. Um, everything's gonna be digital. There is a picture as well on the wall that that shows the digital uh, analogs on the screen, um, which obviously tells us yes, everything's gonna be digital now on the screen. So no more gauges. There's also a few pictures of uh, the hand control. So the hand controls look to me they're, they're similar to what you've seen, or if you haven't seen the the Sportster S uh, or the Pan America, that's what these uh, controls kind of look like. A lot of buttons on them. Um, I hope they're not plastic like it, they are on those bikes. That's just something I don't like. It, it doesn't feel premium. I hope that they're using aluminum for this. Um, and then, you know, where, where there's a lot of clicking. There, there's something about just the clicking on uh, a Harley Davidson or just touching. There's something to the touch that makes the bike look and feel premium. And I don't know, stuff like that to me just, it, it counts for a lot. Um, well, we'll keep going to the next picture, what stood out to me. Uh, what stood out to me was all the lights. So we got a, a bunch of pictures of rear lights in the back. So obviously these being the CVOs, these have the longer lights in the back, but they're, they, they seem to be different from what we've seen in previous CVO years on the baggers. Uh, these seem to be a much shorter, more compact. Um, but if you look out, you'll see regular uh, tail lights. So these, I'm assuming, are gonna be for the regular models. Uh, we'll get into that subject after we talk about everything, but these look like they're going to be for the, the regular models. And we see some red lights here with some turn signals, um, different designs of red lights for the back, for the rear brake light. It's pretty cool. Right on top of those pictures, you, you'll see again the, the, uh, the, the gauges in the screen. Um, and then moving forward, what else stood out to me? There was a big picture in the middle of the tank, right? So we have a bunch of tanks right there, different designs. So... We do have a redesigned tank uh, for this year. Well, from what it looks like. Can't really confirm on that yet, but from what it looks like, the tank does look redesigned. It does look really, really higher when it first starts towards the front, and then it just tends to like dip down a lot. Um, 
Not so much like this teardrop, this is more sleeker. Uh, but if you look in the pictures, the tank does look a lot higher in the front. Um, so that, that kind of stood out to me a lot. Uh, what else? Then we got a picture of, um, of the street glide, right? So we got, a um, we got the original, what it looks like, uh, original bat fairing on top. And then right underneath, we have pictures of the new bat fairing, um, more chiseled. Uh, it looks broader. Um, it, it just looks like a street glide on steroids, to be honest, the new one compared to the old one. Um, so that stood out to me a lot. Um, <clears throat> and then more pictures of, of the of the fairing here of the street glide. And then we see a, a nice little picture of the of the light. So it does look like it's gonna have like um kind of like a halo half of it going all around it. So I'm assuming it's gonna be a daytime running light. That's it's gonna turn on until you flicker it on or until it senses that it it's dark and it'll probably turn on by itself. Um, so that stood out to me a lot. More pictures of the hand controls, more pictures of the infotainment system. Um, what else do we have here? We do have some pictures on the wall um, with some uh, paint palettes on them. I don't know how you call them, the little paint. Uh, but we do have some red and some oranges there as well. So red and oranges, we, we probably could be looking at that for, for the actual colors. Um, what else do we have here? We got the, uh, then we got that street light in the bottom right there. As you can see, it, it kind of, it, 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 it's on red and it starts off in a different way and it just kind of turns into something else. Um, so that, that, that looks pretty cool. Um, we have pictures on the wall of the wheels, different wheel designs as well, uh, different light designs. Um, what else? More of the rear lights. And then we also got a picture uh, of an uh, of, uh, old uh, FLH on there, on the wall. So that's pretty cool. So there's a lot of, you know, get the American flag, you got the old original bikes on there. You got a picture of a Twisty Road. Um, and I think what, what they were just doing uh, with everything was just like combining everything together as they're redesigning and making these brand new bikes. They, they, they kind of want to have certain things on the wall to keep its heritage, keep the Americana going on. And, and that's where you see stuff like this because they're, they're just kind of, they're trying to, put everything together and make sure that they're building something that's gonna last and something that's gonna have a lot of heritage in it already. Moving on, we have a picture here of um, what seems to be um, a tank um, and they're, they're putting it together here. Um, that looks pretty cool. Um, then a picture of both uh, Road Glide and Street Glide riding into the, into the road. Um, and then uh, one of my favorite pictures right here that I saw or a video clip was just of Brad Richardson from the back and then you see both the road glide and the street glide on the on the wall and it's like yeah it's done it's it's it looks it was really cool so from from that view the road glide looks looks really really good well we'll, we'll get into that after we finish talking about all this um i like it man um what else do we have um I think that that's everything that stood out to me. Obviously, the light on the floor stood out to me a lot. Um, <clears throat> that light is going to be very controversial, in my opinion, right now. Um, but it's cool. Then um, what, what I what I really like is this picture where, in the bottom, as a if you go on like on second thirteen, uh, it, it shows the the road light on the on the screen down left, and it's like all blue, and and you see the headlight turn on, and it just it looks badass. It's a little comic book picture right there, but that looks really cool. And just more designs of the fairing themselves, and there's a clip of the of the street glide and the road glide coming at you, looking real good, you know, and looking real, real menacing. There's something about that road glide now that just it looks more menacing. I mean, the road glide itself already looks like a, a menacing bike. That, that front end of it just looks real aggressive, but now it looks even more menacing. Um, you you have that 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 bar light. It looks like is like half of it is turned on. And then the bottom is off, but then you got that daytime running light around it, which looks really, really cool. I like that. Um, it looks good. <laughs> it looks good. Uh, so like, yeah, let, let's, let's talk about all that real quick. So let, let's talk about um, what we think about the bikes now, right? So if you guys saw my video uh, from a few days ago, I did it on the street glide. Um, had nothing but positive things to say about it. I love the new redesigned fairing. From those pictures, you can see that they had a lot of pictures on the wall of the old fairing and the new one. 
and how they kind of designed it into being the new thing, right? Because, I mean, after I posted that video and I seen the other, other stuff, and people were just commenting like, oh, like, it looks like an Indian, or it looks like a victory, or it looks like this, it looks like that. It doesn't. It, it looks like, it looks like what it is. It looks like a bat wing, just more aggressive, more chiseled. It looks like a bat wing on steroids. That's what it looks like. It looks really cool. It's, it's not trying to be something that it's not, it's being its own thing. And if you want to talk about it looking like an Indian or something else, you got to also remind yourself that Indian kind of copied a lot of stuff from Harley. So it's, yeah. All right. The Rogue Glide we haven't spoken about. I mean, there have been a, a few leaked photos and I didn't want to talk about it yet on video yet, but now that this is out, we can talk about it. But the leaked photos have been out for a few weeks already. Um, and I need to be honest with you guys. I saw the, the photos of the Rogue Glide at first and I'm like, what the f is that? Like, what, what is that? Like, what, like Harley just f***ed up the Rogue Glide. And then I took a step back and I'm like, wait a minute. It's a really bad angle. It really was a bad angle. Um, I, I need to see more of it before I give my my opinion and, and my final thoughts. Do I like it? Do I hate it? Um, and now looking at this video, I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> a bike looks so cool. It looks very futuristic. It looks cool. It looks more chiseled. It looks more aggressive. Um, it, it looks it looks awesome. It looks like what it should be. And then. Once again, with this one out, people are already saying, well, it looks like it wants to be a challenger wannabe. And it's like, well, I don't think so. It looks like what it's supposed to be. It's a, it's a, it's a road glide. And there's so much that I want to know about that light still because, uh, like, like I said, it does have that daytime running light in the bottom. Um, and then half of the light on top turns on. And then I'm pretty sure if you put the low, the high beam on, the bottom part comes on and that's when towards the end of the video we see the light when everything's super on i'm pretty sure right there's all high beam so when it's like all on and everything it doesn't look like it's too much going on but i'm pretty sure during the day it just the light's gonna look sick um what made me kind of fall in love with that fairing and that light specific was just a shot of brad richardson from the back and he's looking at the street glide and the road glide both next to each other in the wall and the, the the road glide right there. That's when I was like, that's the that's a little clip in the video that I was like, I want that bike. I want that bike. That it's it, it, I like it. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um <clears throat> what I think about them so far, I I love them. I love them. I really love them. And these are brand new designs. There's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna say, oh, like, well, no, it's ugly and it's so different and this and that. And it's, guys, it's it's change. It's it's change. It, I mean, you're gonna have people that it's they complain about, oh, well, Harley Davidson doesn't do anything new. Then you have those that when they do something new, they complain about that too. So it's like, it's, it's no winning with people like that. Um, be open-minded. That's some advice I can give you. I'm, I'm a very, I try to be a very open-minded person when it comes to everything in life, everything, anything and everything with my work, with my channel, with my family, with my friends, with just anything. I'm just, I like to be open-minded. I like to think forward. And that's the reason why I feel like sometimes I'm like a little ahead of certain things. It's like, I like, I like to, I like to pinpoint certain things that are going to stand out later on. You can say that I'm a little early to the party yet when it comes to my my taste with certain things. One thing that really stood out to me was when he was riding on the bike and you see the 121 badge on the air cleaner and it doesn't look that big because in the pictures it looks really, really huge. But as he's sitting on the bike, it doesn't look that big anymore. I'm pretty sure it's it's, it's gonna be a decent size. Um, but it, it looks good. It, it doesn't look too bulky. It looks like it's more more on the flatter end. In the pictures, it, it just looked really bulky. It looked like it was standing out too much. And um, just different. Um, but that, that looked good. Um, the bags looked amazing, the, the, the chopped bags in the back. I'm so happy they went that route. They're listening to and they're, and they're looking at to see what's going on in, in, in these streets right now. And that, that, that's a look that still certain people, certain designers, that they're kind of playing around with it, trying to make new, new bags and everything. And I, it, it still hasn't met its peak yet. I think that this is just the start of that look right now. Obviously, they're, they're going to... They're right on time with it this time. They're not too late to the party. Um, so I love the bags. Um, love the fairings. Love the lights on, on both bikes. Uh, the tanks look redesigned, like I said. 
uh, you have the big 21 inch wheels on the front. I'm not a big, huge fan of the 21 inch wheel. Uh, that's what it looks like in the, in, in the photos and the videos. Um, so I'm assuming that's only going to be for the CBOs because for the regular bikes, which we'll get into in a few minutes, I'm pretty sure they're not going to have that. Um, <clears throat> the lights in the back look really nice. Um, so what, what, let's talk about what we don't know yet. Uh, suspension. I'm very, very eager to know if it's going to be a model shock or not because from what it looks like, it does have an inverted front end. You see those upside down forks in the front. Um, and it just it only makes sense if you're gonna do the suspension in the front that you're gonna change the suspension in the back So will we see a model shock now the toy models? Hopefully that that'll be that be pretty pretty cool um, And then another thing that we don't know is it gonna be water cooled? Is it gonna be oil cooled? Is it gonna be air cooled? Like you can see the wind just going into um, The front of the bike right here. So we don't know what type of tech it's gonna have when it comes to the, the cooling of the bike as well um, eager to know that as well. Um, there were a few pictures of the um, the, the timing cover side, so obviously we do know that it is going to have the VVT on the bikes. Um, what else is there? I, th I think that was mostly, obviously everything is brand new on the bike. Both bikes are redesigned, brand new. What we don't know as well, is it going to be using the same chassis as these bikes right now? So. That's something else. Did, did they redesign the, the frame for the bike or is it just everything brand new on the actual frame that we see here now? Who knows? Um, eager to know that too. See those bigger brake calipers on both bikes in the front as well. I think that pretty much covers all of that on the Rogue Line and CBO side. One thing that I want to talk about now, um, the opening scene, you see Brad Richardson just coming out, the garage doors closing behind him and am I crazy? Or am I not crazy? Or that? Or does that bike not look like a lowrider ST? Because at first I'm like, oh, here comes a lowrider ST. But the more I watch that video, the more that fairing looked a bit different to me. And it's so dark, you you can't tell. And I'm pretty sure there's a reason why it's so dark because they were trying to hide something. It just doesn't look like a lowrider ST to me. And then he he rides on, and you see that bobbed out fender in the back. So I don't know. Could, could we be looking at a third bike? with the redesigned fairing as well. That's a possibility. And then there's a picture on the wall where it kind of shows like what could be like a Road King. And then there's like a, 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 a redesigned fairing there as well, which kind of looks like the fairing that was on the bike in the opening scene. But but that, that wasn't a Road King, unless that was the Road King and they took the bags off. I don't know. But we could be looking at three brand new bikes or maybe even four, because we could be looking at the Road Glide, the Street Glide, uh, a new sport touring bike, and a Road King with an option to have a fairing on it. I don't know. I, I'm just, my mind is just, my gears are turning. I'm looking at these, these videos and I'm trying to put everything together. But there's a lot, a lot of Easter eggs. I'm pretty sure I still miss a lot of things. Um, so if you guys saw a few different things in the video, comment down below. What do you think so far about the Road Glide? What do you think so far about the Street Glide? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Um, and what do you think about these other bikes that I mentioned? Do you, do you think it's, it's a thing or am I just going crazy? I might, I might be going crazy. Who knows? I just, it's, it's a lot to take in today. A lot. I think that, that pretty much covers everything. Um, I'm excited to see the breakdown um, and know everything about these bikes in, the, in, in June. And um, God damn it, I'm excited now. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm like, this is huge, man. Um, one thing we didn't talk about, I know you guys are wondering, well, these are the CBO models. What about the regular model? So I'm pretty sure what they're going to do is that just like anything else, just like any other company, motorcycle company or even car company most of the time, what they do is that they come out with the most expensive models, right? They put all the brand new tech in it, all the new designs in it. And then the following year, those things start trickling down into the lower models, right? So. What I'm thinking is that these are gonna be out now for sale, probably in June, July, the CBOs. And then for 2024 in January, I'm assuming that the brand new, well, the regular models are gonna be out. So the brand new Road Glide and Street Glide specials or standards, who know? I mean, I, I don't even think they might have that many different options to be honest, thinking about it now. But yeah, I'm pretty sure for January, those are gonna be out. Um, so for those of us who can't really afford CBOs and just want regular models, then 
we're probably gonna be waiting until January. I could be wrong. They, they might be all be coming out this summertime. Who knows? Like, Charlie, Charlie does some crazy stuff sometimes. Um, yeah. With that being said, July homecoming, Milwaukee. I am going there. I will be there. So I'm, I'm even more excited now. And that's it. Uh, drop your thoughts and your comments down below. I know it's a lot to take in. This might, this probably is a long video. I'm sorry about that, but. I'm super excited for this, um, and I'm, I'm eager to know what you think, so hit the comments right now, hit that like button if you want to see more content like this, more Harley Davidson news, more upgrades on the road line, more cool videos, more group rides, there's a lot of stuff coming, guys, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, many, many, many stuff, many stuff, many stuff, it's going to be great, like always, guys, let the force be with you, ride safe, and enjoy the ride, baby, peace.